Hi everyone and welcome back. So let's start building these small small components for the Netflix. Okay. So in the previous video, we just shown the small demo how the components are going to be organized. And based on that, we will put the component in the React JSX. Okay. So I'm starting from from the, from the clean slate. Here we have this functional component. So consider that I will be getting uh, data first. So we have we can use these uh, use state so here i have a data set data we will be using it to store the results which we are getting from the search keyword use state and i will import use state with react functional component we are writing okay so this is my state and now I have some search bar so first of all let's see what we are going to return from this component this is the parent top topmost component so what we will be returning from this is uh, if you just see the organization of component on top we have a header component which we will build then we can have a hero component which has this large banner and then there are some tile list so tile list of top TV picks, tile list of top sky science fiction movies, tile list of uh, the top 10 horror movies, right? So for that, we can actually create uh, one common component and pass the different different set of argument. So like, like tile list, we'll put some title here. This is for like top TV picks. Similarly, like if you want to put six tiles, just change the description here like top based on the popularity and description right here you can actually set the movies so top TV picks again it can be like whatever this trending I wanted to show so I'm just passing these props to the child component something like this so discover movies sort by popularity and get the result for the page one similarity I have another component so inside the component I might be making an API call based on the URL I'm passing movies based on this popularity and another is a science fiction movies which I wanted to have a look so I can write something like this right so these are actually fetching from these particular URLs which I have and this is the header and hero and there is a search list also we have so search results you can say right so from header we have a search bar from the search bar whenever you are typing something we have some kind of a result that result we are showing here okay so on header now if we first what we can do is we can actually design the header component then we'll come back here so header component we can create components folder here and inside component we can say uh, of partials and inside that we can create our header.js okay so we'll just import this header component here later first let's design what header component will contain so header component again if you just see in on the header we had the logo Netflix logo some kind of a, a new bar new links then we have the search bar then in on the right we had that uh, user profile okay so how we are going to convert it is let's write our header component and in the header component we will uh, import all these other components so you can import react I mean you can create some kind of a base template and write these every time const header So I'm going to write all these components. What it is going to return is some common JSX and it will have a header, HTML tag header I'm talking about now. And there is some class name is header. And inside header we have a lot of things. First of all, we have a logo component. Okay, then we have a navigation. Then we have a search bar or you can say a simple search. And then we have finally user profile. 
okay in the next video we will have a look on the ui again what all components we have so logo navigation and search let's create first search because this is some functionality which we see which we can implement in this video it's going to be from the same folder okay so let's create a search.js which will take care of search on this header search.js okay in the search bar it's like a simple form we have so first of all let's import the component here in the search bar we will just create some kind of a form and whenever you submit the form then we will do it class name is search let's say this is form and inside a form you will have just input text field value input type text I will use some custom classes to customize it so it can look better on change on change will have handle change and placeholder and all other properties okay search here basic things okay we can just close the input I mean that way or either this way and then the value value of search result we can just use the simple value and here we can write uh, simple hooks like we can use use state hook okay so this is a very basic snippet which I already have and we talked about this kind of simple functionalities now because now we have written a lot many applications so in input text field we are passing value set value is the hook so on the own change we are actually setting the value so handle change we are setting the value here or what you can do is you can simply do here itself instead of trying there you can just do set value e dot target dot value correct on change it will update the value here so we don't need this function on submit so on when you submit the form when you click on submit we have to submit the form on submit and this method is already defined on submit it is already using arrow functions and here we got the event object prevent default and props dot submit so we can directly access props on submit from there itself we can do a destructuring on submit we are getting from the parent component and we are calling it here okay the names are same so what I can say is handle submit I can say it okay and we are just passing the value so this is my header component I will just do export a default it's actually search component not header sorry so I have created a search component and we are just exporting it in the header we are importing it so this is the first component we have built now other components like logo and all is like a static component we are just rendering some SVG so if I just create logo here it's kind of SVG we are rendering some classes and all so export default logo and then we have a navigation navigation is all about rendering that horizontal navigation so I will just create it so these all are actually part of header component navigation you see nav ul ally I have so this is header component now done search user profile also so for user profile we have simple component which is showing the user profile icon in the top right okay let's skip that for now because these are the main thing which we need in the header so we can import now all these things import logo from logo import navigation from keep import always in the upper case okay things are good now now we have created header so this search bar so in the search we are calling one method on submit right so that is coming here in the search on submit and we can actually access on submit 
so this method is directly going to the parent component again child to parent to grant parent okay on submit might be defined in app.js here here we have on submit and here we can access on submit method it is actually passing some value so in app.js now we have this on submit value so what this on submit value is doing is actually performing some kind of search so we are actually getting value and we are directly calling one method is perform search and passing that value here because this value is coming from parent child to parent to grandparent this is the grandparent component and we have perform search method so what perform search method is doing is making some kind of api call and getting giving us data so this is functional components so we have to convert it into an arrow function if you are defining it like a anonymous function then here we are getting value so this well now we just need to make an api call and from this we will be setting the data this is a search data you are typing something and then entering it or whatever you are doing when you're clicking onto it or submitting the form then this value is coming and now we have to make an api call exios api call it is so it is simple one uh, i just generated this from the snippet so it is like api key we have exios.get we have exios and we are actually doing a set data so here we can just directly call set data and what we are setting is data dot data otherwise we are just seeing this is some kind of error we are getting props dot url error dot string just print this that is fine okay so we, we have updated the state based on what user has is searching for okay we have performed search method and we have initialized the state now this data will be passed to our one of the component the component is here the search result component we have uh, in search result we can pass this data which we just received now this data can be received in the search result component to show it in the horizontal scrollable items right so that we can take care so this is our app component root component nothing it it doesn't have a lot of things dynamic only what we have dynamic is you can type something in the search bar and when you enter it we are able to show some kind of search result otherwise all the other things whatever you see in the title list are kind of static okay title list will have a child component title list items once they receive the data from these respective urls which we will be appending okay so i need to write this title list component that we will take a look into the next video